Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out That's what they all say, yeah Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel segment Bartending at home with John and Kim So today, by popular demand on my Instagram poll Gin is the subject matter of today. So I'll be making the Bella Luna cocktail. And I'll be making uh, the Gimlet, which is a classic cocktail. And we're making it because we just, or we're watching Maniac and it was, uh, they drink a lot of Gimlets. Yeah. So the Gimlet is actually a classic cocktail that was created for sailors to help prevent scurvy. Um, and it's still really popular today, just a nice, light, tart cocktail. And then with this one here, we have friends over a lot of the time and they always want a gin cocktail and we wanted to do something different. And our friend Ryan, who I always feed gin cocktails, he really liked this one. <laughs> it was light, it was fruity, and it was delicious, and you still taste the gin, and it's still boozy, and yeah. So if you'd like to see how these cocktails are made, please stay tuned. So we start off with two ounces of gin. Half an ounce of simple syrup, and we're once again we're using honey syrup. And half an ounce of lime juice. So three simple ingredients. Then we add it to a shaker with ice. We just strain it into a coupe glass. And it's garnished with a lime wheel. Alright, for the Bella Luna, Bella Luna means beautiful moon. Alright, so first we have two ounces of gin. Half ounce of creme de violette. Three quarters of an ounce of Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And one teaspoon of honey syrup. Add it into a shaker with ice. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm different. Everyone's looking at me thinking that I'm living. But I don't really care what they all say. I'm going to strain that into a coupe glass. We have our gimlet and Bella Luna. So give these a try. It's very juicy. Um, with the recipe we read, there's a uh, creme de violette. Is yeah, it? creme de violette. Yeah, and they were saying how creme de violette and creme de violette is not interchangeable. It's similar, but. Mm hmm But you should. You shouldn't substitute it but we did just because that's all we had it is a little sweet but it's not a bad drink yeah i mean i've heard other i saw other comments online where they reduced the amount of um of uh saint germain as well as the amount of simple syrup just because there is three sweeter uh, components being added to the gin mm -hmm. but ladies i think you would enjoy this yeah. um gimlet's really good classic um just really light citrusy drink but because there's still two ounces of gin that uh, is able to come through and you can really kind of play with the different gins you use uh, as you're making this cocktail. I like this, this is really refreshing and really nice and again it's still boozy and delicious. Yeah, yours tastes like candy to me. It's like a really tasty 
I can't think of what flavor it is, but it's like a mint, like a really nice blend of Jolly Rancher flavors. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I definitely reduce the Saint Germain for us, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, for people who like sweeter cocktails, the Bella Luna is really nice. It is really nice. Yeah, and I, I just, I think I like the Gimlet better. Um, way easier to make. Three, three simple ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it for today guys. Thanks for tuning in for this lovely gin edition of Bartending at Home. <laughs> Please comment below what you'd like to see us to make next guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and remember you'll never succeed if you're afraid to try. So drink responsibly my friends. Cheers. You are my anxiety.